Yeah, I did say ten pines, didn't I? Crap. Well, that was stupid. There's absolutely nothing going on up here. Um, aside from... It seems to be growing well. A whole bunch of food that I can harvest. To plant at other settlements. Because uh, despite only being two people, we have a really good turnover on Tato's. What do you need? Excuse me. Piper Wright. Public occurrences. So, are folks out here concerned with the Institute using synths to infiltrate the Commonwealth's food supply? Possibly poisoning hundreds? Gosh, I am now. Oh, Way to go, I, Piper. Um, I, thank you for your time. Yes? Wow. Good job. You are smooth. Hey, let's have a chat, shall we? Word. You really do have a talent for finding trouble, don't you? Yeah. I wouldn't call it a talent. Um it it mostly does it find me though. Usually finds me. Hey, I'm not one to judge. Honestly, it's just nice to not be doing it alone for a change. <laughs> In my line of work, things tend to get pretty hairy. I've been shot at, poisoned, nearly executed. Heck, until recently, they called the lockup in Diamond City the Piper Suite. Anything for a story, I suppose. Anything? Yeah, what do you mean, poisoned? Someone poisoned you? Pfft, you kidding me? I barely had the paper going before I got poisoned. Seriously? The first time, I just published an article about this cartel of caravans that had been driving up food prices in the city. Article went over well, even got a boycott of their goods started in town, so... I figured I'd pop over to the dugout inn for a victory drink. You're naive, aren't you? Big by the time I realized something was wrong. The deem he wasn't at the bar. The beer tasted off, even more so than usual. And I started feeling real woozy. I don't know what he slipped me, but I knew I had to get it out. I'm looking around for something, and there it is. The still, and I just start chugging moonshine. Honestly, I'm still not totally convinced it was better than just dying from the poison, but it worked. Blech. And while I was passed out on the floor, security managed to grab the bartender. He eventually ratted out his bosses, and they all got to share some time in the pen. Really? That's actually an exciting story. Way to go. Uh, what do you mean executed? Seems that execution didn't quite take, huh? <laughs> Thank God. I'd been working on this story about irradiated drinking water in Bunker Hill. I traced the water back to its source through these old sewer tunnels, and what do I find? The children of Adam, setting up like they really? own the place. Unfortunately, they found me just as quick. Turns out they were not fond of reporters. Mm -hmm. So to atone Cults usually aren't. for my trespassing, Plus they, have soft they heads. decided to make a sacrifice to Adam. Me. I'm kneeling there, about to get the boot into this huge sewer pipe. That doesn't sound too bad. I blurt out, Adam, he reveals himself. And they buy it. They pull me back from the ledge and then gave me their induction ceremony. You are looking at an official acolyte of Adam. Took me a couple more days before I managed to sneak away, get Bunker Hill security to finally clean the place up. Wow. All right. I can respect that. Uh Is it worth it though? Living like that. It can't be worth it. Oh, you're one to talk. Get in trouble. It's what folks like us do. I mean, you and I are out here putting ourselves at risk so people in the commonwealth can have a chance at a better life, not for praise or reward or glory. But because it's right. Um I, I just Wanted to let you know. I'm real happy to be along for the ride. Really? Uh. I'm not gonna press my luck quite yet. I'm. I'm glad you're here, though, I'm Piper. Glad you're here too, Piper. Thanks, Blue. That means a lot coming from you. So you want to get out of here? What? Go get a drink? We can go get a drink. And you're, you're sort of top of the list for new stepmom. 
Um, do have a little bit of a concern, though. And that is, you are probably going to bring a whole lot of unwanted attention all over the place. Not that I'm getting rid of you. I'm not going to do that. Um, we haven't been to Grey Garden yet. We can go check them out. Preston wanted us to do that, right? It's not like I'm really out here helping people just to help people. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of a softy for a sob story. So, yeah, I mean, not to mention I just came out of the vault about a week ago. I'm looking around, things have kind of gone to shit, so, you know, people could use the help. But still, I mean, I'm still out here looking for my boy, Piper. Can you respect that? Oh, all right. Turn your back on me. What? It's a weird sound. Alright. Let's keep moving. What was the problem that Grey Garden was having? Do you remember? I don't. Are there settlers down there, or was it just overrun by ghouls? Whoa. What is that? Oh! Robots? Hmm. Are these robots gonna kill me? Hello? Hello? Um okay. if you're looking to trade, then let's make a deal. Really? Green. Ready to begin your fabulous shopping spree? Oh boy. Uh what's with the game show host act? You sound like a game show host. That's the correct answer. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, should we tell the lucky contestant what fabulous Please don't let it be a buzzsaw. Oh, I'll play along. Uh, sure, okay. Right this way, please. Let's take a look at your fabulous prize. This is going to go poorly, isn't it? How, how poorly is this going to go? Um, was it a new car? Is that what my prize was? Was it a new car? Green. It's a brand new car! Yeah. Wow. Now, I saw that one coming. Got the latest in sleek, stylish, atomic-powered automation. You can also take your winnings in the form of a cash prize. How does 100 cap sound? Why would... If you were... If you were a pre-war game show host, why would you be offering me caps? Because... Can't you just give me a big stash of money? I need the cloth. Are there any other options? Those are my only choices. You are one tough customer, I don't mind telling you. So, what'll it be? Oh, fuck it. Yeah, we'll take, I'll the, take caps. the cash price. Here you go. And if you want to use your winnings to make a few purchases from Robco, we certainly won't complain. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, it's been a real pleasure. Thanks for playing. I thought Mr. Handy's were General Atomics. Eh. All right, so what what's going on here? Bring Hello? some milk fruits for seeding, and there'll be caps for your pocket. Off you go then. Uh, hello. Welcome to Grey Garden, darling. This is the Commonwealth's first and only hydroponics facility, run entirely by robots. Oh. No humans? There's not even one person here. Thought this place was creepily tidy. That's right, darling. We are entirely self-sufficient, with no need for human guidance. You see, there are two kinds of robots here. The worker drones carry out labor and maintenance. We supervisors, that is myself, green and brown, possess sophisticated cognition processors. 
We are capable of complex analysis and decision making. A testament to the genius of our creator, Dr. Edward Gray. Uh. Okay. I don't know who that is. What became of Dr. Gray? Like so many others, he died in the war. It was a terrible loss. Robotics and artificial intelligence were our creator's great passions, rivaled only by his love of television. Perhaps okay. you've noticed that I possess a rather singular personality, as do the other supervisors. You well, are quite the firecracker. Kind of sound like a like a brothel, madam. I was in the army. I know what they I know what they sound like. I'm sure. Um, what unique personality? Why did Doctor Gray give you these unusual personalities? Genius is restless, darling. It abhors stagnation. Doctor Gray was tired of the standard. Mr. Handy personality. Oh. He looked to his favorite television characters for inspiration. And we are the result. A few other things you should know. Talk to Green if you need supplies. If it's caps you require, Brown might have a few odd jobs. Ah, uh, there's one other thing. A question, really. All you right. repaired the old Western plant, didn't you? Yeah. That was, uh, it wasn't easy. Yeah, it wasn't easy. Yes, yes, of course. Here, you can have some of our produce. I'll ask Greeny to give you a discount, too, if there's anything else you need. Now I simply must get back to work. Ta-ta! Okay, um, well, hooray? I guess. Lovely weather, what? Piper. You know, sorry about this and all, but uh, I want Codsworth to see this place because I I think he'd groove on it. You know, maybe he and uh, maybe he and White could. Assemble a little, little drone of their own at some point. If you know what I mean. Seems a little bit lonely, and crazy. I wonder if they'd look down on him. Is this a good idea, Piper? You don't mind if I grab my robot, do you? I mean, you can totally hang out here. There's a. Uh, at least it's not raining. There's a bed right uh right here. Piper. Piper. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. What the hell. All right. Codsworth. Uh yeah. Come here, everyone. There you are. The old dog. Come here, you. Codsworth. May I accompany you, sir? Yes, you may. What's your Would preference? Would you like to? Why, yes, of course, sir. Well, yes, let's it do it. Be my pleasure. Hey, Codsworth. You sure you're up for this? Miss Piper, I can think of no greater honor. Uh, okay. Piper, you stick around here, would you? Codsworth. You have got to check this fucking place out. It is amazing. Man, that's like a junk version of a stormtrooper rifle. What do you think, Codsworth? More looking to trade, then let's make a deal! Uh... Supervisor Green. Green's the name, and trading's the game. Ready to bargain in the garden? Oh my god. Yeah. Alright. Hello? Hello? 
Cosworth, which, which one are you? There you are. Lovely weather, what? Hey, Supervisor Mr. Brown? Brown? We could do with a spot of rain. You helped us in our most desperate hour, and for that, I salute you, sir. Wow. Alright, so... Someone programmed Churchill. What can I do for you, darling? Can we talk? Why? Hello, darling. Can we talk at all? Um. Alright. Well. I thought you might enjoy. Jeez. I thought you might enjoy it here, Cosworth, but there's, uh. There's not really a whole lot going on. Um. Jolly good to see you. I don't know. Cosworth, we're going to tidy it up just a little bit, and then, you know, I don't really need you around, so I'm going to grab Piper and we're going to head back out on the, uh, on the road. Is that cool? Yeah, that's cool. Alright, uh, hopefully the storm will let up soon, because this stuff always sucks. Well, I brought Codsworth back to Grey Garden. Um... He, he didn't really seem all that impressed. So... Spent a little bit of time, beefed up their defenses. Uh, gonna need to get a fair amount of scrap in here so that I can throw down some power. Possibly get some more settlers in here. But there is a just absolute shit ton of food being grown here. Which is uh, good, quite honestly. But, we're going to go back, grab Piper, figure out the next step in our journey. Maybe I'll spend a little bit of time looking for Sean. I feel kind of guilty, you know, not having done it. But at the same time, there are a lot of people out in the wasteland that need help. And a whole lot of things that need to be dead. I mean, just straight up need to be dead. That... Oh, are you guys... Are you guys still hanging around the bell? General. Uh, I'll try to make myself useful. Anyone seen Piper? No one wants to Hello. See a grown man feeling sorry for himself. Piper, uh, where are you? Is that you? No, trash can, Carla. Huh? Piper, there you are. Maybe constantly trying to kill us, but. Commonwealth heading my way? Certainly am. Will you travel with me? Sure. Let's, Let's go. go. Will do. Miss Wright, I trust you'll do your best to put the safety of my master before your own personal gain. Of course, Codsworth. <laughs> Jesus. Lucky for me, those two things go hand in hand. That's. Still sounds a little bit self serving on your part, Piper. I'm not sure that I quite trust you with my well-being. What is that? A police department? Well, hell yeah! Let us go and see what the police have to offer. Alright. A little bit leery about this place because it says that we haven't cleared it yet, but I'm not sure that this is the kind of place that can be cleared. It's just sort of a... <laughs> Just sort of a bunch of building exteriors, right? I hope. Alright. What are you? Nope. Nope. There we go. Some sort of... I don't know. I don't know what that icon means. Does it mean... Skyway? Settlement on a skyway? Something else? Oh! Hey, Cal. 
Um, I'm going to guess that it means settlement on a skyway, because uh, I'm about to run right into it, and I see nothing. Yep. All right. Oh. Um. Oh, okay. Hey! Everyone else is up top. Okay. Um. Oh, there you are. Um. Let's try this cover system thing. Hope you make your peace. Oh, what do you know? It works. Um, so, Piper, how would you like to do an end run sort of around the, uh, around the back here? Can, can we just get that? Thank you. All right. God. This guy's all over me. Mind if I do? How about you? Combat armor? Muffled shadowed combat armor? Oh, crap. Like I was saying, muffled shadowed combat armor. Good deal. I'm gonna kid out everybody. Uh, how, how heavy did that make me? Not that heavy, even. Very nice. Well, if anyone could figure out a good lost. So... Piper, if we go up top... Are we just gonna be automatically dead? We're gonna be automatically dead, aren't we? I probably should've brought my power armor. Alright. Um... Let's bring it down. I'm gonna need you hey. to, uh, the way. go ahead Over here. Yep. get in there, would you? No, no, in. In the basket. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need the fire support up top. All right. Way to go. We are so damn dead. Yep. So I got burned to ash. Um, should have expected that. 